I'm Captain Mark Moss from Navico uh, Pro Staff. I'm here to explain some of our electronics to you today. We're going to discuss some of the 3D options that are available to you and how you can move from screen to screen in those options. On the right, you can see that we have 2D straight down looking, and then on the left, we have 3D. Off to the right, you can see the seawall coming into play. As we're coming into an inlet, it has a seawall that banks back to the right. 3D is, is reaching out 37 feet to the right, touching that edge of that seawall. You don't see it come up, but you can see the structures that are tied up to that seawall. Now, as we progress down the wall, the wall continues in 2D off to the right, but in 3D showing that flat area. Further, as we get to this one edge, you'll see where the seawall will want to jump itself back out in 2D, and in 3D, it will pick itself up. You're able to turn around and take 3D and manipulate the screens and show different angles in looking at it. There's the edge of the wall right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a feature called track back and I want to look at that edge of that wall. And if you notice at that very edge, there is some fish there. So I'm going to blow it up a little bit, bring it in a little bit tighter. You can see them yellow fish. It's dictating fish right there. And I'm going to blow it up a little bit more. Whoop. And you can tell them fish are right on the edge of that wall right there. Those yellow specks are indicators of fish. We didn't see them on the 2D. We saw a few shadows on the edge of that wall, but in 3D picked it up as they were hiding behind that edge of that wall. Hi, I'm Gene Quinlan with Garmin. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a combo on our units. First you wanna do is hit the menu button, add combo, select what box you wanna add, Once completed with the combination, select Done. If I want to add this combination to my favorite screen, just go to Home. Here's the combination I created. Touch and hold. And now you can see it's added to my favorites. Hi, I'm Eric Kunz. Uh, we're here to show you some new features with our TZ Touch 2 MFDs. These are Furuno products that we're looking at, and these are our brand new chart plotter, integrated sounder, GPS, and we even have a radar connected. Let's look at some of the features that we have built into the product. Right now we're looking at an actual radar overlay over the top of an actual uh, raster chart. All the raster charts are built into the, uh, into the system, the NOAA raster and vector charts. I can turn them on or turn them off, and you can see I can also turn on a radar overlay over the top. Interestingly, if I take two fingers with this system, our technology allows us to put the system into a 3D mode. So I swipe up, I can actually get a much better view of what's around us without uh, having to zoom out. So I can actually still see nice big information around us and look much further ahead. If I, when I'm done looking at that 3D mode, I can instantly bring it back into an actual 2D presentation. So there's an easy way to swipe between 2D and 3D to get better situational awareness. Hello, my name is David McLean with ICOM America. Um, we're here at the Miami International Boat Show, and I'd like to show you, um, there's a lot of confusion about AIS and DSC on VHF radios. So they're two separate systems. We have a radio now, the 506, that has AIS received built into the radio, so it'll pick up all your commercial boats and your other recreational boats with AIS. And you can actually move the cursor when you see a target, and it tells you who the boat is and what direction they're going and so forth. You can also have that tied into your multifunction display, so uh, you can see it up on your chart plotters as well. Um, and it's all NEMA 2000, so it's easy plug and play. Um, and then we have DSC, which is a distress feature. So what happens is you press that button, um, and then it sends out who you are to all the boats around you and where you are, your location. And that's why the NEMA 2000 is important, so you can plug and play with your chart plotter to pull the GPS information out. Hi, I'm Jim McGowan from FLIR Maritime and Ray Marine, and I want to show you how to adjust the range controls on our new Quantum Chirp Radar. And we've got one installed on this boat 
and uh, it's connected to a GS series multifunction display. And adjusting the range is actually very simple here. Um, GS series is touch controlled, so down here you've got a range in or a range out button. So if you want more detail, you simply press the plus button. You see the radar responds automatically. With Quantum, our lowest range scale now is 1 16th of a nautical mile, so it works great for Quantum's uh, super short range performance. And of course, if you want a wider view, you just touch the minus control and it'll zoom out. Here you can see some AIS targets coming into view in the distance and a much wider view of the harbor here in Miami. Good morning, I'm Alan with SciTex, and today we're going to talk about how to set the gain on your fish finder to get the best performance you can out of the fish finder display. First off, a lot of times what happens is people don't have enough gain set. They'll set the gain until they see the bottom on the display, but that doesn't mean that they have the gain set high enough to be seeing the fish and everything else. So what you normally do is start turning the gain up until you start seeing the bottom coming a little better. But down here, you see where we start getting a second echo? You want to turn it up till you get a glimmer of the second echo on the display. And what that means is the, the signal came down, hit the bottom, bounced up, reflected off the surface and went back down. So you'll see a second bottom at exactly twice your depth. And if you set the gain to where you see the second bottom, you'll always know that you have just enough gain set and not too little, which is more important. 